Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how I made this really simple although useful and effective brush holdout for my detailed brushes and pencils just out of some scrap wood. So I've been keeping all of my artist brushes for detailed work in a plastic bottle cut in half so I decided to make a little plan to make a rack. Here is a basic plan of the rack with dimensions. So if you'd like to follow this project, you can pause the screen now. For this project, I'll be using two pieces of pine, about 15 mil thick, and these came off some old cupboards. I started off by ripping down some pieces to the required width. I first just cut a clean edge and then I could measure up for the width I need. So now I need to cut four pieces out of these two pieces. I'm just marking up for the sizes of the top, bottom and the sides. And then I could get these cut out on the miter saw. I cut them both together for accuracy. So for the sides, I want to put some handles on and I have these old knobs off some drawers. I thought these would be a good idea to add on. I'm just finding a center point now with the ruler so that I can attach these knobs to the sides. I used an awl to mark the center point. And then I got the holes drilled out on the drill press. Then I could add a small screw and add some glue and then get the knobs screwed on. Then I offered up the sides and drew a line to guide me when I drill some pilot holes later on. Then I could mark up where I want the pilot holes to go. I could then drill out the pilot holes on the drill press, keeping both pieces together so that they're exactly the same, drilled in the same locations, and you'll see why this is later on. So now I started to mark out the areas where I want all the holes to go. I'm going to be using 6mm, 8mm and 10mm drill bits and I've roughly equally spaced them out. I used a speed square to help me make all of the straight lines. And then again, I use the awl to make the marks. So 
So now I could screw the two pieces together so that I could drill down through the top into the bottom section and I'll be using the uh, depth stop here. What I want to do is drill down into each hole at the top and then drill about 5mm into the bottom panel so that I can then drill out some small holes later on and that will allow the brushes to um, sit perfectly straight in the holder and the bottom holes will hold them in place. Once that was done I could remove the screws and now I could properly drill out the bottom panel holes as I say they're about 5mm deep and I'm using the 6mm drill bit here now I could start to drill the holes on the top panel starting with the 6mm drill bit and I have a sacrificial piece of wood underneath to prevent tear out of the wood then I went up to the 8mm bit and finally the 10mm bit then for the pilot holes that I drilled earlier I countersunk them so that the heads of the screws sit nice and flush and I also countersunk the pilot holes on the, bat the bottom panel on the underside I took a knife and just removed any rough edges and then I could give everything a quick sanding with a 120 grit sandpaper Now for assembly I'm drilling down through the pilot holes into the side panels with a small drill bit just to make sure that the wood doesn't split and then I added plenty of glue and I secured the screws by hand with a screwdriver just to prevent any splitting. Once the first side was on it was much easier to get the second side on. and then finally I could add the top panel and then I could remove any excess glue with a damp cloth I did a little bit more hand sanding just to round over all the edges to prevent any future chips or splits of the wood and to make everything nice and smooth. And then I added these little felt feet on the bottom and that will just protect any surface that I might put this onto. For the finish I use some boiled linseed oil 
That should help to protect the wood, keep it clean and make it all look nice and uniform. Then I could buff off any excess oil with a cloth. And that was the brush holder complete. Okay, so that is about it for this video. I'm pleased with how it turned out. It's really useful, much better than storing your brushes just in a box at random. Much easier to get access to what you need. And I'm surprised how it holds them as well, as you can see, nice and firm with the little notches in the bottom. Much more organized now. I can just reach for any brush I want. I think this will be really useful, especially if you're an artist to keep all your brushes organized. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.